TuckRichterAngelsWin.com. Uh, here with Sam Bachman. How you doing, Sam? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, first off, uh, what's it been like to be a part of this uh, this Trash Panda playoff run that you guys are on this year? Yeah, it's been super fun. You know, a lot of new guys, a lot of new faces, and you know, it's just it's just awesome to keep competing with these guys, and you know, it's taken us so far, and we we'll just keep doing it through the playoffs. Nice. So, I know this goes back a year, but what was draft day like for you? It was a very special moment, very surreal. You know, it happened so fast, it still really hasn't set in. You know, if you get drafted, it's just back to square one. So, just trying to keep climbing the ladder and keep doing my thing. Did you know the Angels were interested in you? I had a Zoom call with them like a week before the draft, but that was our only only point of contact at that, okay. that point that year. What will Angels fans come to learn about you, the, the player and the person? Yeah, I'm a competitor. I'm, I like to think I have really good work ethic and um, do everything I can in my control, and then as a person, you know, I'm a very giving person. I like to be a good teammate. Tell us a little bit about your uh, repertoire, your pitches, uh, fastball, velo. Two seam, it's like 92, 95, change ups, mid to upper 80s, as well as the slider. Have you, I, I know you battled some injuries this year. Do you feel like any of those injuries have hampered anything, you know, uh, with um, your. Definitely, you know, it's when you, when you got the workload built up and you're throwing year-round you know the stuff you know picks up and it's kind of been really spotty this year as far as being out there consistently you know I get three weeks four weeks and then lower back spasms and upper back spasms and you yeah. know, some stuff like that so it's been really difficult but you know I think I'm in a good spot right now where you know moving forward I think we got everything taken care of it's just kind of growing pains your first year of pro ball what do you feel like you need to work on uh, to make it to the big leagues uh, just stay healthy yeah keep competing Doing, how, doing what I was drafted for, and you know, the rest will take care of itself. It's about being healthy. So. Yeah. Are you left to your own devices in terms of uh, workout, diet, things you need to work on, pitch mechanics, all that, or do the Angels have a plan for you? Uh, the Angels have a plan for everything, so it's really nice to uh, you know, talk to the dietitian, you know, pitching coordinators, pitching coaches, the whole staff. You know, everyone's got really good stuff. They're knowledgeable, and you know, it's easy to kind of lean on them for that. Who's impressed you the most in, as far as your teammates and an opposing player that you've had to face in this league? It's really fun watching Chase sell Seth. I mean, every time he's on the mound, it seems unfair for the other opposing team. <laughs> watching players, I think De La Cruz, pretty talented player. Um, it'll be cool to see him. So, yeah. Yeah, I hear that a lot about De La Cruz. What has been your best game, most memorable game to date, college or professional ball? My second start in college ball was pretty good. It's the first time I hit a milestone, 100 miles an hour. I think this last start that I had was very eye-opening for me. I learned a lot about myself, you know, going through kind of some aches and pains and stuff. And that was like kind of my first outing where I felt very in control. So that was awesome. Awesome. So talk to us a little bit about that outing. Was it, uh, what was it about it that, uh, was it like the durability, the, the fact that you lasted longer, you went six innings that start, right? Uh, did you feel like you had more left in the tank going into the sixth inning, or were your pitches just uh, working for you better that day? Uh, just command of all pitches. Um, I limited a lot of damage, so I don't know, I gave up eight or nine hits and only gave up three or four earned. So I was happy that I was able to keep my team in the game and you know keep us in the win column. So. Absolutely. When when you first start playing ball, how old were you? Oh, like three or four at a church <laughs> ball league. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, dad was a coach. You know, you go to church. After you get to play some t-ball, play some games with some other guys, so it was fun. Oh, that's cool. Who do you model your uh, your game after when you're on the mound? Nobody really. I like to just bring my own energy. You know, I learn a lot of different stuff from as far as mentally goes from a lot of different players. You know, everyone wants to be Max Scherzer intensity. Sometimes I like to you know keep the energy a little like mellow out a little bit. Sometimes I get too hyped up. But yeah, I watch as far as the physical stuff. I like to watch Luis Castillo. Oh. Just the two-seamer, change-up, slider combo. I think it's very similar, so I like to kind of see how he pitches and gets guys at the big league level out. Nice. Uh, growing up, did you have a favorite baseball team? Uh, Major uh, baseball? The Reds. The Reds, okay. Favorite player? Um, not really. Maybe Pete Rose. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, real quick. Lightning round. Uh, favorite movie? Pass on that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, favorite song or artist? What's your genre that you listen to mostly? I listen to a lot of rap, some yeah. country. Yeah. Yeah. So just kind of whoever's on. Uh -huh. Whoever's on, yeah. <laughs> there, it, there's so much music right now in my head that, like, <laughs> I don't know which one to go with. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, favorite video game? 
Uh, the new Call of Duty's coming out. Call it's of Duty. A big one. Playing the beta right now. That was still Seth's uh, favorite game. Yeah. What's a perfect day look like for you away from baseball? Uh, a lot of fishing, uh, hunting, just downtime with the family, good food. There you go. Can't uh, complain. When you're done playing baseball, have you thought about what your next career will look like? Skiing. Professional skiing. There you go. Nice. Yep. Downhill skiing. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Sam, uh, thank you so much for your time today. No problem. Best thank of luck. You. Yep.